Ola Capricorn, Sun, Pisces, Moons, welcome to your 2024 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre recorder or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646 902 5715. When you see this, is when you're meant to view it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also, check out your 2023 Sun Moon readings and see if they rang true for you or somebody else. First portion of this reading, I'll go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination, pull the main cards, and take a quick look at your 2024. The second portion is in the Vimeo link below where I'll have a deeper interpretation of those cards with clarifiers in addition to a card of advice for 2024. So Capricorn Sun Pisces Moons. In this combination your Capricorn Sun nudges your Piscean Moon along so that you're never too complacent. This duo works out well because one side will handle all the drudgery the, others, the other doesn't want to do and in turn one side will give the other the creativity to have grand creative visions. You can also be rather introverted and will not be the first person to reach out in a social scene but often others will reach out because because they recognize your class, dignity, warmth, and sensitivity. You're also very modest and don't care for braggarts who need to announce their every accomplishment. Your whisper gets you farther than others' shouts. You prefer an environment that is ordered and regimented, whether it be in your work life or domicile. Domicile. I, I don't know why I put that in my notes. I have a hard time pronouncing it. You're also a great organizer and manager. You have incredible intuition. However, it can fall short when it comes to matters of money. Make sure to keep your finances in check rather than putting your head in the sand. So, Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Capricorn Sun? Pisces moons. Wow, how did that? <laughs> For the year 2024, any messages would be greatly appreciated. And we thank you. Okay, so here's the card for. Um, the double card in reverse, which is Capricorn, which is your sun sign. That's for January, February, March. What do you have for April, May, June? April, May, June. April, May, June for a Capricorn sun Pisces moons. We have the four of wands in the upright. Alrighty. What do you have for July, August, September for Capricorn sun Pisces moons? We have the three of wands in the upright. Also, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, and support in my efforts. That's always greatly appreciated, and you can always refer a friend. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles in the upright. Wow, very interesting and inspiring year. So it looks like in the beginning, in January, February, March, you're getting out of a situation that you didn't think you could get out of. Uh, could have been a toxic relationship, could have been any toxic environment, um, you know, a family that wasn't so great for your uh, well-being. Um, could be a company that, you know, you got out of a contract finally, um, you know, but typically it's something that had a really dark like I said, toxic side to it. And the thing about the devil card in reverse that I like in my readings, to me, it's when you think there's no possible way that you can get out of a situation, you feel powerless, you feel chained to it, you think it's going to be so much harder than it actually is. But then when you take the, step, the steps to get out of it and you step over that threshold, you look back and you're like, well, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And then you start having pangs of regret saying to yourself, I should have done that much sooner. But the good news is you got out of it, you're leaving it behind you, and that's a great thing. I can tell it's a great thing because in April, May, June, with the Four of Wands in the upright, this is absolute bliss. This is, um, you know, celebrations, friends, um, warmth in the home, uh, gatherings. Uh, it could be um, the start of something really great, putting down roots in regards to, you know, a relationship or moving into a new company, uh, moving into a house with somebody. Um, you know, it really is a great card. The Four of Wands in the upright is you know, very much about those things and feeling wonderful. And I think it's because you got this monkey off of your back. And I feel like the whole world's going to open up for uh, up for you after January, February, March, after you've kind of done that. Um, and I'm seeing that in April. Um, in July, August, September, with the Three of Wands in the upright, this is where I really see the world opening up for you. Here you are kind of surveying all these ships and wondering, having so many more opportunities available to you that I feel like you didn't have before and kind of thinking, wow, there's all these things that I can do. Um, where should I go? What should I explore? What opportunity should I, you know, snatch up on? Um, how much more money can I actually earn? Maybe I want to travel to places that I haven't been before. So your mind is really kind of, um, like I said, being very expansive, opening up 
up to all these wonderful things that are kind of going on. Um, this is also a card of communication. So you could be uh, kind of communicating in order to make this stuff happen. And then in October, November, December, I see you working very diligently towards something. So I feel as though you have selected an opportunity or a person or whatever the situation is. And I see you having learned from previous mistakes, but wanting to really improve um, improve yourself, improve the relationship, improve your your work, um, hone your craft, um, something in that regard. And you're really, you're really willing to put in the work and kind of get it done. Um, this to me is determination. This to me is tenacity. Um, this to me is diligence and being very passionate about something and holding yourself to, very, to a very high standard and, and attaining the pinnacle of something. So, I mean, it really does look like a great year for you for 2024. So if this does resonate, consider a personal pre-recorded live reading. Just click on the link tree to below to contact me or text me at 646-902-5715. Um, otherwise, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below. I'll be pulling these cards on those cards for a deeper interpretation in addition to a card of advice for 2024. Check out your 2023 sun moon reading see if they rang true for you or somebody else and then finally look me up on facebook instagram tiktok like share subscribe donate refer a friend in support of my efforts that's always greatly appreciated otherwise capricorn sun pisces moons i will see you in the vimeo adios from veronica garnett bye